So there is a place that's not far, far away, a place where the life force of our healing dwells. Today, we're going to take a journey to that place so we'll never forget that we are the healed. And of course, it's for living our best lives in three, two, one. Pushing the boundaries of expectations and rewriting the rules of adventure are the reasons we get up in the morning. This is a way of life, a huge and growing community of explorers and adventurers, leading the way, blazing new trails, and raising the bar. We share your hunger for a life without limits, and we know you'll stop at nothing to get there. Howdy do, KB creatives all over the world in all four corners. Stephen Canyon here. Glad you could join us for another adventure of attracting our best lives. Email address is kinetic belief at stephencanyon.com. <laughs> stephencanyon.com is the website. Miss Maggie. Howdy. Greetings, my little friend. <laughs> Greetings, cowboy. You're only five two. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for reminding. <laughs> but you're so tall today. <laughs> I think you. I'm going to stand up and do today's bod- podcast. Oh, that, that could. I wonder if that would change it. I wonder, I wonder hmm. if it would sound different. Probably would. I just you, you ever get that have that feeling? You just need to. Yes, and it's funny you said that because I was just thinking right as we sat down. Oh, I need to go for a power walk or jog or a bike ride or something today. I feel a little sluggish. I don't know. Something. I was just about to say the fullness of life is becoming you today. <laughs> you are. It, you, I can just see it all over you. Happiness, joy, health, abundance, love. Aww. It's becoming both of us. Thank I'm you just for I'm, me. I don't know what it is, these energetics. I'm just in that extravagant level mm, today. Yes, let's do it. So that. freaking excited. <laughs> <laughs> and so I don't excited. know why. Isn't that it? It's, you don't need to have the why no. to be able to just to feel that abundance of joy and that level of it. Yes. Here's an open invitation for everybody to join us, Megan and I, in our private space this yes. Saturday for the live stream workshop coming up at, mm-hmm. it, well, it's at one o'clock New York time. Yeah. USA. Yes. For the rest of you out of the country, you'll have to do the math on that one. You can wake up in the middle of the night or you can catch the replay with your ticket either way. Either one. That sounded so professional. Oh, good. <laughs> Pointing to the exit. I love how you actually have to say that. <laughs> Whoa. That's really good. What happened? You nope. sounded professional. <laughs> but you know what I like about it, these, these live streams, is that this is actually where we can all just sit around together in a space of calm and peace. Mm-hmm. And, yes. and I'm going to discuss things that we just can't really cover in the podcast. Yeah. And I got to say this, too, that a lot of the questions that we get, a lot of emails... This is an opportunity for me to just start peeling those layers back and to go deep with these. Again, we can't do it in these podcasts, Mm -hmm. but a two-hour workshop sitting around Indian style on the floor, we're going to cover it. Immersion, immersion. Not to mention you're adding the video to, we're always just audio only, so it's going to be exciting to... Add your face. I wish we <laughs> could do like the, the Brady Bunch thing where I could see the little cubes of all the, the KB faces. But that's coming up. That's coming. Right. But that's in the meantime, coming. at least you'll you'll see Maggie Maggie's little uh, My face. Brady Bunch face. I promise I'll look, look pretty for everyone. <laughs> So it's kind nice of, to look at. You know what I like about it too, in that we're not in a, a hotel or the theatrics of some venue somewhere else. We're we're in a space that we're occupying now, mm-hmm. and it kind of reminds me of the that Danish word huga, yeah. which uh, I don't know if I'd said that right. Hu- huga. Well, if you're is Danish and we're saying it wrong, <laughs> feel free to. The, what syllable is the emphasis on? <laughs> the Y. Huga. No, the middle. Huga. 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 I think the first the first one. Uh, maybe think. somebody will know. But I'm open to correction. It's kind of like that, which is it's really it's this Norwegian word for a mood of coziness and comfortable friendliness. Mm-hmm. And what better environment than that of comfortable friendliness to for us to yes. share feelings of wellness and contentment, but to get into the semantics and the the uh, the inner workings of yeah. how we are actually becoming our best lives. Yes. To, for the, our circumstances to change all around us. But we dig into that mm. and get down into the crux of, yeah. of the law of attraction and how kinetic belief absolutely never fails to make it work. And I can't wait to see what you bring to us in this space as well, because I know you've been really excited about what you've been receiving and what the universe has been just you know sending your way. And, and I can't wait to see just the exercises, the teaching, the what you have to say. I just, I can't, I have, you never tell me ahead of time. So I'm excited. I can't well, wait to see. Well, I feel like see. you just teased me, uh, you teed me up for a tease. <laughs> We're going to talk about some of the intimate things 
that we just need to know regarding how to master our daily walk and kinetic belief. How's that? Mm. I mean, we're going to, because we are always attracting circumstances to change according to our desires. And this Saturday, we're going to go deep in the founding uh, and the basis for mastering kinetic belief. Well, and I like how you said mastering your daily kinetic belief walk, because if any of us have a real struggle, it's the daily walk. You know, we have the depth of understanding. We have the emotional understanding. We have the desire, but then it's the day in, day out. Somebody backed into my car. My mm-hmm. kids said his first cuss word and my, my, <laughs> my husband didn't like dinner. Or I don't know, whatever, you know, you name your situation, but that's the daily walk, you know, and that's where the success really happens. And so I love this idea that you're going to take us through. Okay, let's get into the nitty gritty and make the daily walk perfect. Well, those things you're talking about that cause us to stumble, we always stumble because we're still a little bit weak in the why. Yeah. Weak in the why. So we we get into the energetics behind the why, our kinetic belief, mm-hmm. with those right perspectives, never fails to change our circumstances for abundant living. What I have to say for me, too, as a kinetic believer and as a veteran kinetic believer, um, workshops like this are required from time to time because you need that immersion. It's good to learn every day. It's good to listen to the podcast. It's great to journal. But then you need these moments of total clarity, total immersion to like sort of shoot you out of a cannon and get you to that next level, move everything down the road. So if you want to join us this Saturday, you can go to the uh, Yeah, go to the website. So website. stephenkenny.com yeah. and it says live workshops right there. Click register now. It couldn't be easier. Um, and if you do have any questions about the registration process, anything pops up, hey, just shoot us an email. We're always available in our, our lovely... Um, assistant Rebecca is always available to to it to help you out and I would also say this that if you are dealing with something specific that you want to make sure that I'm addressing on Saturday Mm -hmm. go ahead and register now because as soon as you register you can go ahead and email in your your concerns your questions your life questions so that I the sooner the better the more likely I will be able to get to absolutely whatever your concern is okay nothing's more important to life than health right oh yeah definitely I mean, what good would all the money in the world be to you if you didn't feel good? Well, it's your vessel, right? It's what you're having, being sort of forced to experience this life in. Yeah. Life. Think life. Life. Trees. Birds. Us. Life. Essence of life. Mm. Dinner last night. A Mm. tree inside of the restaurant. Not doing so well. I think it was dead. <laughs> it looked missing dead. its life. I think back in the day when they first built the restaurant around the tree, it was probably very cool, but it had seen its better. Well, days. it was the restaurant is in a very, very cold environment. Uh, what I'm sure is very cold. It's in the mountains of uh, uh, eastern eastern Utah, Northern, just up in the eastern. the northeastern, northeastern corner, actually, right there <laughs> near Montana yeah. and all that stuff. But I would imagine in the winter the The tree on the outside of that restaurant, the part of the tree up there in the sky is freezing. And inside where it's a comfortable 72 degrees, can't you imagine that that causes a lot of stress on the life that used to be in that tree? I would imagine so, because it seems like it wouldn't be able to go through its like normal uh, (coughs) tree cycles. Do trees have, I guess, yeah, they do. Sure. Not doing too well. Too many stresses. Interesting, right? Too many stresses on that tree. Unnatural, actually. Healing has a home. It, there is an actual dwelling place, a place that healing already exists. I was, you know, sometimes I, I get some questions or people want to know about, mm-hmm. well, can we, can we align with someone else that needs healing huh. in their body that doesn't know what I know about healing? Mm-hmm. And can my belief that I'm adhering to and relying on regarding the energetics of healing, can it affect this person to become whole, mm-hmm. to be made free from cancer, a sickness, or a disease? Well, there Great is an question. answer to that, yeah. and um, which, you know, it, it's an elongated one, and it's a yes and a no, and it's a... Um, an, an answer that needs to come with a lot of information regarding the person that we are aligning ourselves energetically with to receive the healing. But I will say this. I used to have a little dog, <laughs> and uh, it was a Bichon that was given to me. The dog was five years old, and <clears throat> the the owners were just looking. I think they were moving or something. But yeah. So I said, sure, I'll take the dog. And And on the day that I went to pick up 
Sebastian. <laughs> Sebastian. They told me now, Sebastian, um, <laughs> just not that it really matters, but Sebastian can't see. <laughs> Sebastian's blind, oh, and, and I'm thinking, how does that is... how does that not really matter to me? How is I'm getting a dog that's totally blind? Oh my word! Sebastian had cataracts in in oh, each eye. They yeah. were just they were like silver dishes. I think Bichons get those quite a bit. It's don't they? pretty common, yeah. I think, for the Bichon breed. Okay. But wow. this one this one was full blown <laughs> blind silver. But they, and they did say no. But you know, Sebastian will follow you around. Um, and can learn its in, his environment oh pretty goodness. quickly and all. So I, yeah, I took Sebastian. Well, you're How in, can you're, you not? you're locked in. Come on, I mean, I'd you know. already bought him a leash. Yeah, you know, and yeah. I had the little goodies. So Sebastian goes home with me, and sure enough, Sebastian could basically bounce his way around in the room, and <laughs> and <laughs> I, and I would have to carry him down the stairs though to take him outside yeah. and stay with him. But he's the sweetest little dog. But then one day I am. In fact, I had just finished one of one of our um, workshops up in I don't know, it was somewhere maybe up in Virginia, and, and I I had come back home for the evening, and I'm sitting there looking. Uh, I was holding my little dog, looking at him, and you know, Sebastian, you're the best little thing in the world, and I love, love, love you. Yes. And I'm looking at his eyes and the silver things. I'm saying, well, wait a minute here. I had the power of belief. <laughs> I am, I have, I can choose my subjective reality, which my dog, by the way, is in my reality and is, you know, I had attracted a dog, this sweet little animal into my life. And it, it became me the information and the knowledge that yes, I am affecting the circumstances of my life, drawing into my life the energetics of change. And my dog belongs to me. He's my little dog. And so I applied my kinetic belief toward the eyes of my dog, being him being able to see clearly. And I became gr- <laughs> very grateful for Sebastian to be able to see, even though you could still see the, the cataracts. Yeah. Very grateful that right now he can see and all is well for Sebastian. <laughs> and uh, just, re- just rejoiced over that uh, circumstance yeah. and forgot about it. And I just you know, went about my business, and Megan, it was about, I don't even think it was two weeks later. I came into the room where Sebastian was, and I was walking around doing some things, and I noticed Sebastian was turning his head, watching no. me go around the room, no. and so I went over and I picked him up and looked, and both eyes were what? T- totally brown. Oh. Not a cataract in either one of those eyes. And so I took Sebastian to the vet. <laughs> And the, the the vet who knew Sebastian by this time said, well, cataracts don't just go away. <laughs> and, but they're gone. And I didn't I didn't feel like teaching that day. So I just... <laughs> well, you see, I just, uh, there's kinetic belief. Do you yeah, are a, you a kinetic believer? <laughs> you have a few hours, Mr. <laughs> yes, they do, do. they do just go away. They go away by changing to become what they, the original intention for the eyes of that <laughs> little Bashan we're supposed to be, oh, just, like they, just like it works for us, just like it works for anything in our environment. All things come from one source. Life, all of it comes from one place. Wow. The, the like kind expansion for all of life in the universe began with the one living substance from which all things are made, mm-hmm. the creator. Yes. The life substance of God permeates and it fills the inner spaces of the universe and is in all things by penetrating all things. Actually, quantum theory recognizes the singular action for all things as the God particle. Mm-hmm. All life comes from it. Wow. It's life and is all the life that there is. Wow, just thinking in those terms that that all of life actually began from one single source, from the creator of the universe, that, that really does help to explain what you're always showing us or trying to show us, you know, some, some, sometimes I feel a little slow with this stuff, but, you know, just how the micro of, of that quantum theory that you're always talking about, how it relates to the macro of the life that we that we're each experiencing. Every human creative is an extension from the substance of this life force. Mm. Within this one substance for all of life is the power of perfected health. You see the energetics of perfected forms 
where there is nothing wrong, nothing broken, nothing mm-hmm. missing, where there are no cataracts. The substance of the one perfected health is no sickness or disease right. being present. The flow of the substance of perfected health, it causes every voluntary holistic function of a kinetic belief within the human creative to be perfectly formed in alignment with the one source. Wow. The attraction of the substance flow of perfected health, it produces healing regardless of the negative fact on the, that's on physical display, regardless of the, the, silver, the silver saucers in each eye. <laughs> the brokenness, the sickness, the disease, whatever it may appear to be, the substance of healing from the one living source, it rearranges the physical body to become perfected in the image of the perfecter. This is the principle of healing, which comes by kinetic belief. Uh, you know, there it is again. You just said it again. All good things that come, they come by our kinetic belief. Yeah, the expectations of thought within each person determines exactly what they believe about things. Those thoughts are held to form in alignment with each person's articles of faith. Mm. For example, if one person believes something is possible for them, well, they're correct. Right. If another person believes it's not possible for them, they too are correct until that is their belief should change wow you know isn't that it i mean nothing is possible until our belief should change until we change our belief that's the challenge isn't it changing what we actually truly inherently adhere to and believe you got down to the core of it right there the nitty gritty you, you do gritty. you do get it and you get it quickly oh good <laughs> no, thanks teach yeah no the the, the principle yeah. of healing requires the desire mm-hmm. of thoughtful expectations and the kinetic energy of action wow a desire without action is only a potential desire A desire with action Action. is a kinetic desire moving to form. Just thinking about being well isn't enough without the externalized expression of perfected health by acting the same way we think with the gratitude of results. Just as it is with all new growth, with the tree that we saw in the restaurant last night, with little Sebastian, with all life, all life requires the fertile soil of promotion. Mm. And the environmental condition for health is happiness. The fertile soil for promoting that of health is an environment of joy and happiness. It requires the fertile soil to be fertilized with happiness and the joy that comes from an expectant hope Mm -hmm. and expectant gratitude. Gratitude that says, I have the gift of this healing right now. I have sight right now. I am free from cancer right now. I have, I will never have a cold again now. As of now, I am connected with Mm -hmm. the one creator, the source for all of life, for all of health, connected with that positively in the atmosphere of joy and happiness so that it becomes me right now. I have a question about this process that you're laying out for us. So uh, you've taken us through belief. You have to make sure that you're actually believing, actually adhering to this thing. And then you're combining action with it to put velocity into that manifestation power. Um, And I just have a sort of a personal question about this, this journey, because for me, anytime that I'm about to have that manifestation breakthrough, it's about to show up in the physical, it always feels very high pressure and the most difficult right before, like, let's say I need money. Let's say I'm in college and I'm a broke college kid. I need money to pay bills that are coming up is right before that financial breakthrough that it feels, I feel the poorest, the most broke. It feels the most intense. I'm the most tempted to be scared and full of fear. And I'm wondering if that's because of the nature of breakthrough or is that just because we're at our peak sort of energizing this this process. I hope that question even makes sense. It does. And what you're talking about is the semantics, the energetics of the of time. We put a time limit mm. on something needing to show up. Let's say you need money for tuition in college. Well, yeah. and they say that's due on December the 1st. <laughs> and you're thinking, oh my goodness, I, all of a sudden I've got doubt yeah. that I'm going to have it by December the 1st. I'm worried that it's not going to show up True. by December the 1st. And so I'm fearful. And so it's those negative 
uh, energetics that then spoil the yeah. the condition of our expect, expectations yeah. to become something other than positive gratitude right. that says, I have it now. No, in the energetics of expectations that produce and manifest and attracts what we're believing for to form in our lives, it requires a posture of never hurrying, never worrying, and getting out of the semantics of time. Mm. Time has nothing to do with it or if it does, then we're operating in, in doubt, worry, and fear. And that's such a great point. You know, we always talk about not putting a time limit on things ourselves, but you also can't receive these time limit and time structures that are coming from from outside sources. That's exactly right, because if, if you receive that, another way to say is if you believe that December the 1st really is the hard deadline, <laughs> then you are being controlled by the belief yes. of an of an ulterior motive, of an outside source. Right. You know, if, and the way the law of attraction works is if it has to show up and change the circumstances of December 1 being the deadline, it will change it to mm. conform with and affirm your belief yes. that you're going to have the tuition when you have the tuition, and it will satisfy yes. exactly what you need to be doing to, to <laughs> for that next quarter. However, and here's yeah. what, let me throw this in there. Okay. Let's say that you're grateful that you've got the tuition. You're grateful that you're moving forward and being able to to take care of what you believe to be a responsibility. And so in your gratitude, you're not doubting, you're not worrying, and there's no fear. Mm -hmm. And let's say that that hard deadline arrives. Yeah. And let's say that you don't, it hasn't manifested in your life. And you get the letter or the call and they say, you can't come back to school because you didn't make the deadline. Yeah. The kinetic believer says, I'm so grateful for that yeah. because I wasn't supposed to be there anyway. Mm -hmm. There's something better for me that goes far beyond anything that I could have ever hoped for or imagined. Yeah. All things working together for good for those that are not doubting and not hurrying and worrying. Yeah. We don't always know where we should be a year from now. We have a holistic desire for wellness and living our best lives. But if we are open to receiving whatever the universe is bringing into our lives, it's always going to be different than anything we ever could have thought of or imagined. Mm -hmm. And we end up in a destination that's even more wonderful than the one we had thought we we're desiring for ourselves. Well, and you actually did a really great recent um, Instagram post on this, a micro blog on Instagram. That's at Stephen Canyon, if you're not already following Steve. Um, but you were just showing us how, you know, as a kinetic believer, as a kinetic believer, we are always finding that balance of really clearly defining our imaginations while leaving open you know, all this belief and ex expectation for the universe to come in and make it even better than we could have possibly imagined. And so that, that relationship, that going hand in hand, that's, that's wonderful, isn't it? That's right. That. And just maintaining, our job is to maintain the fertile environment, mm, to maintain an environment full of happiness, full yeah. of joy, and expectant gratitude that all is well and it's even better than anything mm. I could have ever thought or imagined. And healing has a home yes. and that's the place where it will dwell. There's actually a proverb that says, a joyful heart is good for healing. A depressed spirit dries the bones. Mm -hmm some wisdom, isn't it? Healing has a home. Just say this out loud. Say, I attract loving and healthy relationships. I attract loving and healthy relationships. Because I am loving and healthy. Because I'm loving and healthy. I am the substance of peace. I'm the substance of peace. The substance of healing. The substance of healing. Has become me. And it's become me. I will take the substance of worry, doubt, and fear. I'll take the substance of worry, doubt, and fear. And cast it down. And cast it down. Because the fullness of my life force is love. The fullness of my life life force is love who created me to become who created me to become a reflection of the same a reflection of the same i choose forgiveness i choose forgiveness of myself of myself and all others and all others because it agrees with my healing it agrees with my healing i am willing to unbecome i'm willing to unbecome what i am not what i'm not by becoming by becoming what i am supposed to be what i'm supposed to be to advance my mind to advance my mind body and soul body and soul i respect and validate my high Highest desires. I respect and validate my highest desires. I allow the diverse perspectives of others. I allow the diverse perspectives of others to be theirs. To be theirs. Allowing them to pass through. 
allowing them to pass through. My understanding. My understanding. And love for them. And love for them. I am health. I am health. I am love. I am love. I am happiness. I am happiness. I am joy to myself. I am joy to myself. And all others. And all others. I always choose love. I always choose love. Because love. Because love. First chose me. First chose me. Wow. Love this podcast about healing habits beautiful. Thank you so much, Steve, for all the wisdom today, and it expanded into even so much more than usual. And if you are interested in the journal and especially the workshop coming up, if you want to enter that space with us, you can do that at stephencanyon.com. And as usual, just shoot us an email, kineticbelief at stephencanyon.com with any questions or comments. Sending out much love and happiness and joy and gratitude to the KB creatives all over the world. So much love and thanks as usual, Steve, for all that wisdom. Bye.